Hey all you sassy gals, what's prepping? We are doing some late night prepping. Well, it's not that late, it's only 8.30 in the evening. But no, you don't, you stay there. Every time I come here, y'all watch my last video and it was the same intersection. Pet peeves, y'all. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna do some uh, price checks at a local Martin's grocery store. So we're gonna zippity doo dah through the store. Oh my gosh, this guy's in the middle of the road. Okay, yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah, okay, no. I wanna talk about gasoline before we get to the grocery store. Um, this morning I went out and all of the gas stations around town were $2.99 a gallon. And now it is gone up 10 cents, so it's now $3.09 for regular unleaded gas. And I am here at my Martin's grocery store and the Martin's gas is 309. If you have a Martin's uh, loyalty grocery card or a um, maybe Giant Foods, depending on what store that is where you're at, um, if you have a loyalty card, you can earn gas points. I know there are some Kroger stores, I think, that do this. Um, so you can earn uh, rewards points. Go ahead and do that because gas is going up um and you're gonna want to make you want to save all of those points i don't like coming out in the evening sometimes to go grocery shopping sometimes it can be kind of scary which is why i bring my company full of freedom seeds if you know what i mean all right we're gonna go head into martin's here we go yes nice pumpkins and mums here that's neat maybe i should get some of these Oh my gosh, this is what I'm smelling. Hmm, I realize I gotta use my app. Don't forget to use your apps, y'all. Okay, what do we got here? Produce doesn't look too bad. <gasps> 99 cents. Pound Gala apples. Okay, 49 cents a pound. All right, we're still good here. Still doing well. These actually look really good. Let's see. We want to try to find some that have a lot of green on them. Hmm. Let's see. Oh gosh, these look perfect get these. These will be gone by tomorrow. New find. Green immunity. We're gonna get those because it's $2.99. You can tell, you can see here that behind each one of these bags of lettuce is nothing. Hmm. Okay, um, what are we looking for? lunch meat. We're going to go down to the deli section. So yeah, that's interesting. There's a young man there behind me that was pushing everything over to the side and spreading it out. You can kind of see they're doing it there with the with the herbs. Ooh, carrots. We need some of these. Store brand peeled baby cut carrots. Here we go. Store brand. Salad bar is closed, so don't get freaked out by that. and go section. So we're going here to look for the lunch meat. Here we go. Black Forest ham. But we'll get Virginia ham. This one's on sale. Okay, so we'll get this one. Virginia ham. Let's see if we can find some salami a little pricey right now. There's some Swiss cheese that's marked down. Okay, I'm getting the bag. 
I don't know if this is normal for it to look like this if they clean it up at night because I'm usually not in here late at night. I feel like I'm doing power shopping. Okay, so here are some hamburger helpers. 10 for 10. So we're gonna get some of this. Oh look, it says you can try with hot dogs instead. This is good. And beef pasta. I'm gonna get some of these for our stash. Okay, I'm finding some chicken thighs, 99 cents a pound. So these chicken thighs here are 407. These are four dollars and thirty cents. This looks like a, something I could pick up. Wow! Look at that boneless lamb leg is forty-four dollars. Wow! I don't know. We can cut. Oh, we have some more. Some more chicken thighs. 99 cents a pound. Wow, look at these. Chicken drumsticks. $3.93. Wow, you guys look. $8.39 for brawny. For six rolls. That's higher than I usually see it. Hmm. <sighs> Pays to come in here in the evening. There's like nobody here. It's like empty. But we're gonna go out to the car now. I spent $100 even, but I got some really good meat deals on those chicken thighs and the chicken drumsticks and um, the apples. The bag of apples was $5. Um, and some other things. I got the big, the big container of half and half is three nineteen, which is actually really good because um, I can't even find heavy whipping cream anymore. And usually one heavy whipping cream container was three nineteen or more, and it was a smaller portion. So oh, we got some good deals. Martin's doesn't close until 11 and we've got like, two, they've got two more hours left. And this is like, you would think they were closed. Um, over there is the gas station and I have um, points to save 40 cents a gallon. That's cool because I need it. Gas just went up. All right. All right, that was a good little trip. I couldn't get all of the, all of the prices out there for you. You can see that some of the things went up in price. You can see that there were some holes in there. Lots of, um, you know, spaces between, you know, I don't know, like toilet paper and paper towels, things like that. You saw how like in the produce section, they're moving everything to the front where there's only like one bag of lettuce and nothing behind it, you know, that kind of stuff. But I'm not usually in there this late in the evening. So like some of those things that you saw that were really empty, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that you know, in the butcher department. So I don't, I don't know. Um, I am happy to see that I got um, a package of chicken thighs for $3 and some change. And I also got the chicken drumsticks. I got those for $3 and some change. So I'm happy about that. We'll go home and freeze those. Um, in fact, I might just learn how to make some fried chicken and pop those babies in the air fryer, especially the drumsticks. That ought to be fun. Things like milk and stuff, you know, they were low quantity, but okay. Um, creamer, man, I'm telling you, why can't we find heavy whipping cream? Does anybody know? Found the half and half, but I found the really big jug of half and half. So got some of that. Um, the produce looked okay. It looked good as far as um, selection and quality. It looked good, um, but like you saw, like the bananas, um, usually those things are like piled high with bananas, um, but they're not. 
So we got some really good bananas. What is good? This car is smoking in front of me. Ooh, doggy. So ladies, be prepared, okay? When you're going out to your car and it's in the evening and you're by yourself, you need to make sure that you check your surroundings and be aware of all your surroundings. Um, I went out there and I did that video, or just that little video clip and I showed you how empty it was. And then I put my purse and my keys um, in the front seat and then by the time I turned around, I heard someone cough. I did not see that person walking. When I heard them cough, I turned to where they were and I saw where they were at and then I waited until they passed because y'all know I have company with me, okay? I can't be too careful. Always, always, always look at your surroundings. And maybe you should probably take a partner with you if you're going shopping in the evening. Until next time, prep it up, pack it up, stack it up, y'all.